Our guest reporter tonight is Kitty Flanagan. <laughs> so, Kitty, how are you processing this whole Weinstein scandal? What's shocking is that so much of this behaviour has been happening in the workplace and the excuses they're giving. Louis C.K.'s excuse was that he thought it was OK because he asked first. Really, come on, when has it ever been OK to go up to a colleague and say, listen, would you mind signing Betty's going away card and, hey, have you got a sec to look at my cock? <laughs> that is... That's awful. I, is Betty leaving? Yeah, that's not the point, Sorry. Sorry, I just, I, And if you're not going to be serious, then I'm going to out you on television right now and accuse you of being a sex pest what, in the what, workplace what the Hey, no, 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 no. I, I've never done anything like that in my life. Oh, God, I'm sorry. It's just when you left last night, I heard everyone calling you a wanker, so I just assumed that... <laughs> no, it's, 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 not what, it's not what they No, mean. like everyone was saying it. Yeah, yeah, I, I get it. We can, we can just okay, move on. Well, anyway, there are only two occasions where it's OK to wank in the workplace. One, <laughs> if you work in porn. Two, if you work at a sperm bank and it's orientation day. <laughs> Harvey Weinstein's excuse was that the 60s and 70s were a different era. Apparently not, though, because what we're starting to realise is that for women in the workplace, not that much has changed at all. Hello. Today we're talking about appropriate behaviour in the workplace. Look out, here comes my colleague. Morning, Bill. Hey, sweetheart. Fancy a night out on the town? Sounds swell, Bill, but I don't think my husband would like it. Seems a tad inappropriate. You know what's inappropriate? Is being married and working. Pack your things, Jan. You're fired. Hello. Today we're talking about appropriate behaviour in the workplace. Here comes my boss, Bill. Mmm, nice pins, Jan. Do you want to go to a discotheque? Sorry, Bill. I can't dance in my condition. Just found out. I'm pregnant. Yeah, you're right. Pregnant women can't dance. And they can't work either. You're fired. <laughs> Cheer up. Have a cigarette. <laughs> I'll be ready to go for lunch in a moment. Hello. Today we're talking about appropriate behaviour in the workplace. Look out. Here comes newly appointed CEO Bill. Hello, Bill. Hi, Jan. You looking good today? Thank you. Wow. Who's your hot friend? This is my new girlfriend, Velma. What? You're lesbian? This is a good Christian company. Pack your things, you're fired. Hey, do you guys mind if I come over tonight and film you having sex? <laughs> Just think about it. While workplaces may have changed, many of the issues remain the same. And while Bill may be dead, many of his illegitimate sons live on. Oh, here's Bill Jr. now. Hey, Jan, did you get my dick pic? Oh, yes, I did. Would you stop sending them to me? And put some pants on! <laughs> right. So... Dare I ask whether you have any solutions for this? I can't solve anything because I don't understand the problem. I don't know why a man would want to show a colleague his penis. It's not like it's the new iPhone. Oh, <laughs> look at all the cool new features on my iCock 8. I mean, <laughs> how long have you had your penis, Charlie? Well, my whole life. Your whole life, that's my point. Men have had their penis for 24 hours a day since day one. So why do they still find it so interesting? <laughs> I would be so bored with that thing by now. I certainly wouldn't be taking it out and playing with it at work. I had a penis for a week and I'll wait, tell wait, you... No, hang on, wait, wait, I... wait. <laughs> you had a penis for a week? Yes, because I wanted to understand why these men were getting their dicks out at work, so I gave it a go. I got one, and I'll be honest, it was kind of fun at first. <laughs> but you've got to remember, I just got this thing. It's brand new. <laughs> I haven't had it my whole life. So I was keen to show it to people. I'm still working out what you can do with it. I want to know where you can put it, where you shouldn't put it. But I'll tell you, after a few days, just a few days, Charlie, the novelty wore off. I lost interest and having my dick out at the office got really boring. <laughs> After a week, it wasn't just annoying everyone else in the office, it was annoying me too. Right, so, so what are you saying, Kitty? I don't know. That dicks in the office are boring and annoying. Just be better. Why don't you fix it? You're the one with the dick. I can't help you. That's probably fair enough. Please thank Kitty Flanagan.